everyone. Welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, November 5th, 2020 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is my inner revolution supports the outer revolution. And we need to remember this as we continue moving through this election energy, this election mayhem, that regardless of what's going on out there, we are most powerful when we are concentrating and doing the work in here. And I will say, just even based on the two candidates that we have, is we as humans have so much more work to do uh, in figuring out what we value and empowering ourselves. So keep that in mind as we move through this tenuous astro. Now I want to mention something we're building into. We're building into the sun in conjunct Mars. That will be on Saturday, but we're getting we're getting close to it. We have the sun today, 13 degrees, 14 degrees. Mars is hanging out retrograding still at 15 degrees. Um, so we're getting close to this in conjunct. In conjunct. We're not seeing eye to eye, but the interesting energy is Scorpio and Aries are both co-ruled by Mars. So we know Mars is can be explosive energy. It can be rash. It can be uh, very fly off the handle. It can um, it can uh, have a lot of frustration behind it, frustration and aggression. There's also a really strong passion behind it, which is why we always go back to what's your motivation. But as we have this in conjunct, it feels kind of like a lit fuse. And so we need to be aware of that in and of ourselves, but we really need to be aware that there's going to be power games going on out there. Um, I would say keep your Scorpio goggles on. <laughs> Seeing beneath the surface of what's really going on, uh, I will say this, no side in this is made up of angels or has completely our best interest at heart. Um, and just keeping that reminded and pulling back into our own personal power and tuning in to what we value and what is important is the way to move forward. And also being very aware that this energy could, um, could make us all feel kind of rash and uh, want to throw some punches, throw some elbows. And so staying centered in our own peace and harmony is also really important through this. So just keep that in mind as we build into this. So today we have the moon continuing to move through Cancer. Um, as the moon moves through Cancer, it will connect to Uranus. So Uranus likes to trigger. So we may have some feelings being triggered. Um, moon squaring uh, Venus. Again, what is it that you value? What is important to you? Keeping that in mind, but also keeping that in alignment in and of yourself. And we go back to those lessons that we had in Cancer earlier this year when it was such strong lessons around um, compassion. Keep that in mind. Compassion, nurturing yourself, uh, listening to your intuition, allowing the feelings to move through, um, being a witness for your feelings, not trying to repress them because repressed feelings at this point isn't going to really help. Uh, but at the same time, be aware of what you're doing with said feels and that Venus energy, again, what do you value and can you value and maintain some level of balance and harmony within yourself through these energies? I am sorry if you can hear that. My oven is going off in the background and it makes this little song. Joe says it's <laughs> Alibaba is what it sounds like. Anyway, um, moon is also, oof, moon is also squaring Mars. So again, the feeling energy of the Cancer Moon could make us feel triggered, could make us feel extra emotional, the frustration, um, could enact some energies. We are all responsible for ourselves, we are all responsible for our power, and we're all responsible for how we show up in the world. So how are you being called to show up in the world? But be very aware of yourself. Um, I, I'm of the belief that violence doesn't serve or support our ultimate causes. I could be wrong. <laughs> that is how, how I feel, although I understand where it comes from. So again, holding space for yourself 
wherever and whatever you're feeling um, in and through this will be important. We're also building to Mercury square Capricorn. And this is where we need to be so aware. Capricorn energy, it does. It represents society and government um, and the rules and the structures and even this patriarchal energy that we're, we're still pisces -ing through, still moving through like a Pisces, like, oh, what's going on here? It's still up and around and rampant. And again, even this, the whole presidential race on all sides should show that it's still there and present. And yet Mercury, now direct, in Libra is like, keep remembering what is important, keep moving in that direction for yourself, keep honoring that, find your balance in and through that, find your harmony in honoring what you value and don't let don't let the patriarchy games suck you in because they're definitely going to be trying to i mean i think there's going to be yeah there's going to be some of that <laughs> according to mahalo and we don't have to go there and does it support us to go there so just tuning into your own personal code of values code of worth in and through that um, because that may feel also explosive. Just want to warn you about Friday as well as the moon moves through and does oppositions and squares and the like. It may feel a little challenging. So just buckle in, buckle into your own peace and harmony and also buckle into your own personal empowerment. So let me show you my cards. We have the comparison card on the top. I want to remind us that we're all on a different framework in regards to where we are at in our personal evolution and what we understand. And you may feel called to educate those, but you can't force it. So do keep that in mind. And the best education you can be is being in alignment with your values and walking your talk. So how are you being called to walk that talk uh, through this energy rather than compare or criticize somebody who is not quite there? I have the laziness card. In reverse showing all the cards this is going to take work and like I said deep inner work and our inner transformational work does support the outer transformational work and we need to keep at that maturity <laughs> I, I think the next few days will show I think we've been seeing where we're at as a nation and as people and we have some growing up to do but this card reminds us Find your inner balance and really listen to your intuition. Listen to that yin energy that is trying to support your young in how to move and act. And finally, I have, I have the hermit and I have the sorrow card. There are emotions to be processed. And I think for a lot of people, there's so many lifetimes of suppression and pain that come up when we are electing leaders. And this is energy that can be processed hopefully so we can find alignment with leaders who really do represent a new hope all right so let's leave that there <laughs> if you can book a reading with me email me mimi clark at gmail.com besides that the better it gets the better it gets there's more than enough love in the world for you you have the power please remember that and stay curious namaste